Hi, baby. You helping, Dad? You're good help. Look at you, sweaty. You're good help. Baby's running the saw. I'm going to do a quick video here. Show you the future site of my Osage Orange hedge. I'll grow. I have uh, trees are coming. They shift. It's the wrong time of year, but I'm close enough. I can water these. Yeah. Clearing out all this brush. I can't do a whole lot with a toddler, but she's good help. So my trees are coming. I tried to clear out this tree line. Well, it's full of honeysuckle vine. I've not drug off all the brush. See all that honeysuckle? That's staying, by the way. Do you eat that? That is a uh, persimmon that's staying. And I think another one in here. Persimmons stay. Anything that it produces for wildlife is going to stay. Still need to do a little more clearing some weeds and drag off, drag off this brush, but these trees are going to be planted right here, probably, I don't know, 15 feet apart. Yeah, I'm close enough I can water them. But uh, trees are three years old, so who knows. Um, I ha got, have enough, so I'm going to have male and female trees. If you didn't know, Osage Orange is either male or female, not both on the same tree. Not both flowers. I wanted them here. One, I grew up with Osage Orange trees in the creek bottoms. And I personally, I've never seen a deer eat them, but of course I never hunted over them, so or near them. But I'm sure squirrels, wildlife, coons, something will eat this. If it helps wildlife, I'm all for it. Are you helping, Daddy? You are. You are. You in the dirt. But, uh, uh, future sight. Um, another hour of work, and this is ready. These trees will get here this week. An hour or so of work, and I'll be ready for them. Trees will get here 10, 15 feet apart, right in this tree line. And uh, sometime, who knows, five, six, seven years. These things should, uh, I think these trees need to be uh, close to 10 years old before the females start producing. But we'll see, whatever. So, I'm happy. If it's for wildlife, I'm all for it. Thanks, everybody.